when the head prefect is coming, you freeze wherever you are. You don't work approach him. Welcome to High Tunes Africa. Welcome to High Tunes Africa. Move that your school is the best. Welcome to High Tunes Africa. Move that your school is the best. How's it going, human beings? My name is Gorshet. It always feels amazingly good to be back on the channel. It's High Schools Africa time. Here in Ghana, West Africa, the central region part of Ghana, precisely Cape Coast. This is the only school that is situated inside a university, the Cape Coast University. And it, it, it is so interesting. This is the only school in this country that it named actually begins with universities. I so much like the vegetation aspect of this place. The lawns, the trees, everything comes together to make this place so beautiful. Just take a look at this. And guess its name. Amazing. It is called University Practice Senior High School. Today I have made it into this school and I'm going to meet up with the head prefect over here. I don't know his name yet. Even though this school looks really small, but trust me, there is so much this school can actually boast of. Guys, this is me officially walking into UPSHS. Amazing school. Looks like I've met the prefect already. Bro, how far? I'm good, sir. You? I, I, am, I am good. Don't, don't, I'm not going to say my name yet. <laughs> my name is Goshas, of course. And please introduce yourself to me. Hi, I'm Cadet General Eric Donto. Cadet? General Eric Donto. I'm not looking for Kadet, I'm looking for the headboard. Sure, this is the headboard. <laughs> Can I okay. see your face? I want them to see your face. Okay. You're the headboard, right? No, I'm not the headboard. <laughs> <That's a problem. laughs> I, I'm the Cadet General. That is the commanding officer of the school's Cadet Corps. And therefore, it is a rule and regulation that you, before you see the headboard, you have to see certain protocols before you get to the headboard. Huh? Yes, sir. In this school? In this school. Hey, you people! <laughs> <laughs> So until I see you, I would never see the head no, perfect. You will never see the head perfect. Hey! <laughs> since when? Since the 80s. <laughs> University practice? University practice. It's there. Bro, I like to see the head perfect. Okay. You can. I can now. Yes, I want to have a conversation with him about school. Is it okay? It's very fine. Ha! Please take me to him. Ah, uh, this way, sir. <laughs> guys, you will never <laughs> bypass him. <laughs> hey, so you guys have an active cadet force like that? It's very strong than the Ghana military. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the Amazing. <laughs> sir, permission to carry on. Wow. We have Goshers from high schools, Africa. Permission for them to come here, sir. Granted. Yes, sir. Amazing. Easy. He said granted. Easy. Thank you, sir. Amazing. Bro, it's not easy, oh. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> finally, finally. Amazing. Sick of COVID. <laughs> Welcome to University Practice Senior. Thank you very much. You are so curious. I want to see your face. The person they are, they are treating, giving him this kind of treatment. They want to see your face. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Amazing guy. See you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Look um, at that. <laughs> briefly, I wanted to know why we do this, you know. Um, the but they head like boys prefect. They, they like to your, know your name. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is Sankofa Yenchi. Sankofa Yenchi. I'm um, Aqua Stanley. Aqua Echo Stanley. Super. I'm yeah. the head boys prefect of University Practice Senior High School, the SIC president, and automatically qualifying to be the commander in chief of the APCAD, University Practice Cadet Corps. That's the reason the commanding officer, just like the President of the Republic, becomes the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. So do I become the Commander-in-Chief of the APCAD because I was the SRC pres I'm the SRC President. Yes, that is why I do this. And these protocols you go through before you see me are to safeguard our leaders, students' leaders. Mostly, Can we walk? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mostly, because of the work we take upon ourselves as leaders, there are lots we do. Um, student management, mediating with the administration, ambassadorial um, functions, like what we are doing now, you know, it's quite tedious blending that with our academic works. We have to also get this privilege to um, enjoy certain rights, you know. Yes. Amazing. So, before you see the head prefect, you go through the protocol perfect. Then they forward you to the cadet 2IC, then cadet commander, then the cadet commander being the right hand man to the boys prefect will bring you 
That was why we did that. Hey, Charlie, then I'm so fortunate too. I just went through just one processing. Hey. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. Let me show you something here. Please show me. But you see, your school is is he going to be with us throughout today? Yes. yes, hey. yes. So he's guiding you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the most flexible most times procedure I've gone the through. The head boys perfect comes out when cases out are so strong that all seniors couldn't handle. Seniors on duty couldn't handle. Perfects couldn't handle. The cadet commander couldn't handle. Then they forward it to the boys perfect. And if it doesn't work here, then you send it to administration. Yes, and even at the administrative level, we know we, we believe in hierarchy. So we follow the appropriate channel to get into. But let me show you what I told you I wanted to show you. Mr. Stanley. Uh, oh I, gosh, I forgot to tell you this. In university practice senior high school, the head boys prefer is addressed by the title master. Master? Yes. Master Stanley. As the head boys prefect. And becoming the SIC president, you are His Excellency. Eh? Hey. Yes. So I should so. call you His Excellency. Chaleido <laughs> 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 is your <laughs> here university practice. Yes. <laughs> wow. His Excellency. I'd like to know a brief history about this school. Is it okay if we sit on the lover's bench? Gosh, it's leisure's bench, not lover's bench. There's no everywhere, yes. Love is everywhere. But this place is for leisure, not for love. Ah! Yeah, we, you it's, know. It's what? It's what bench? Leisure. Le leisure bench. Leisure. It's not lovers. Not lovers. <laughs> Did you know that in my school, back in my school, SHS, we called this one lover's bench? <laughs> and it's not lover's bench, it's leisure bench. We are in the tentative world, things do change, you know. Correction, in most of the things we were fed with, you know. I, I, I want to find out, at what point did you guys um, began to call this one lover's bench? The purpose for the making of these things automatically brought the name leisure's bench. At your leisure, you can come around, do your reading, your, your artwork, whatever you want to do at your leisure's time. You can feel comfortable on these benches and with the trees being the shade. So since since you since this school was built and these benches were planted here, you've been calling it leisure bench since. Yes. How can we, we, we call our own lovers bench? <laughs> hey Charlie, you guys kill us wow. <laughs> See, I'm warning you. Do not call these benches lovers benches again. Because and it makes sense. Because we are in school to learn, not to is it chop or eat love? Not to, I don't know what to say, actually. But we are not in the schools to, to chop love. So stop calling these benches lover's bench. It's not a lover's bench. He has corrected it. It makes a lot of sense. Leisure bench. Leisure time, we come here and then we sit here. We read stuff and all that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey! If you be calling this lover's bench in your school, stop it. It's a, it, it, you can go to hell for that. <laughs> so, gosh, to the history of the school, let's, 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 let's get walking around. University practice senior high school is the brainchild of the Faculty of Education of the current best university in Ghana. Which is? University of Cape Coast. It's the current best university in Ghana. Of course. Amazing. UTC, shout out. <laughs> the, that is, that's the reason why the school is situated inside the university. Yes, the Faculty of Education um, made this place the school that the students of the tertiary will have their teaching practice here. But later on, because of the population, it increased and here we are senior high school. It came out with 115 pioneers, 70 at the sixth form level and 45 came later, offering only science and general arts. But it was later that the first headmaster, Mr. S.A. Asante, added the vocational ones, that is home economics and visual arts. The current headmaster? The first headmaster. The first Mr. headmaster. Mr. S.A. Asante, okay. who was succeeded in the interim by Mr. Jane Fee. Then later, Mr. Um, Frank Asien took over. And it was his turn now. We also had business as a course in the school. So now we have general arts, You do science, you offer general art here. You offer science. science Visual arts, visual arts, home economics, home econo home, uh, hey, it's not economics, e economics, home economics, home economics. <laughs>
Hey, Charlie, today I'm going to learn the rough. Who oh, is economics? It's not economics. Then business. <laughs> business. Amazing. So, as at um, 1950, we had these courses here. The school was established on 13th October 1946. This school? Yes. Hey. So currently, the school is 45 years university practice. And it was during the time of one of our headmistresses, um, wow. Mrs. Agnes Brudy Siao, who brought in the agriculture course of the school. So we have general arts, visual arts, home economics, um, business, agri, then science, you know. Yes, so we offer these six courses in university practice senior high school. Amazing. Yet to know exciting facts about the school. No. I like the I, I like the ventilation of this place because of these trees over here. Mm -hmm. There is so much air everywhere. Guys look I've seen this quote over here. It's from this guy, Confucius. I have never understood anything this guy says. Look, he says if your plan if your plan is for a year, plant rice. So you don't have a future. Oh. One year. He says if your plan is for 10 years, plant trees. And then if you're planning for 100 years, he says educate children. His Excellency, Gosh. why is this still here? You wonder why this school has this coat. Of all the coats we have, this coat. Yes. We are not rice for the school to have a plan for a year. So you guys are not short sighted? No. Not 10 years. Not even 10 years. Missionarians. What? 100 years? This, this was just to make it sequential from 110, adding the zeros to it. But the 10, 100, 100 there is not what you see. Visionary leaders Amazing. who are going to be imparted in from university practice and also going to impart. And you know, leadership without succession is, is meaningless. It's so meaningless. you really impart into people who will really be of value for the community, the country, the continent, and the world at large. Amazing. And, and then you chose Confucius. Confucius. Do you know one other fact about TPSHS? No. We study Chinese as a language here. Hey. The Confucius Institution of, of the University of Cape Coast saw this plan. You know, China is one of the industrial countries, so once they are, they are also the most populated um, people, yeah. you know, so once we get to tap into whatever they have, we know we can really get something from them. You know, we know we have our ties strengthen between Ghana and China. And, China. and we hope that once people are coming out from university practice in your high school, we're going to help strengthen the ties. Not only China, but you know, we have other Francophone countries around us. We do also learn French here, of which is common, but the Chinese is not common. This is So this school some people learn French over uh, Chinese over here. Chinese. Nihao. Nihao ma <laughs> you nailed it, gosh. Harry Morgan! You, you have a notice board too. This, this is the administrative one. Administrative notice yes. board. But we have the CNN notice board here. CNN? Mm -hmm. The news? It's news related, but that Campus News Network, University Practice Senior High School. You know much about our extra co curriculum activities. That's one of them, the media and journalism. So these students are trained to be these people who are going to, in no time, join the media. So they have the notice in, board. In this school? In this school. Every, during every gathering, um, that's mostly Mondays and Fridays, they brief the school about what is going on, local and international news. And afterwards, if you couldn't make it to the social gathering, although it's composed, but certain factors have to be considered, you come to see in the notice board and check news there. Uh, yeah. Campus news. Campus right, they have board. campus news. Yes. So you know, Ghana wins medal at the Olympics, Apple's monthly cleanup, local and international news, and quotes to also inspire you. Wow. Yes. So it's it's actually an SHS, but then they are also introducing media related works to the, the students. It's not one year, not ten. Hundred and beyond the vision. And you know, we are in the university, so you know the teachers we are having here, our competent, able teachers. Awesome. Sometimes we get people from the university to come brief us um, on what is really going on there. 
And you know, since they have this tie strengthened, you see, see UPSHS, you know how the relations between the teachers and the lecturers are going to be. Sure. So the same way we are imparted here. No wonder we are doing exploits in every angle we find ourselves. Amazing. Talking about seeing the CNN in UPSHS, it's not something to really boast of. You would, you would know much about the extra curriculum activities in UPSHS. Here on this school, this is the first thing you see just when you get here. You want to get inside the campus. There's an aquaba here welcoming you into the school. And of course, they have a Veronica bucket over here. This is a huge one. You can use it for 10 years if it's filled. And look, they have a functioning um, core. You may call. Um, call. You know what I'm talking And they have their crest over here. Service to the community. This crest actually looks like that of a hunter man, but it's UPSS, University Practice Senior High, at University Practice Secondary School, University Practice Secondary School. They also have their post code over here. If you want to mail anything over here, you get it over here. And of course, look, they have a full map of the school slapped over here. So when you show up over here, you're not sure of where to navigate yourself. You just come here and take a look at it and then that's it. You are good to go. This is the compound of the school. Mm. We call here the quadrangle. The quadrangles. That's the heartbeat of the school. Why? Why are they stuck? <laughs> You're wondering why the first stop. This is not because we are we are uncertain, we are passing, but that's the natural culture of the school. When the head prefect is coming, you freeze wherever you are. You don't walk approach him. He stays a meters back until he passes. Then the cadet commander. Oh, yes. So the cadet commander hey. will tell you to carry on before you go. That's how the treatment given to the head prefect over here. And hardly do they see him because the, the, the people really there are working so much that when it comes to strong cases, then he comes in to intervene. Let, let's go. <laughs> let, let's, let's keep on going. Amazing. <laughs> Guys, I'm so surprised. Look, everyone is frozen. And it's not that, it, 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 it's, it's not that we are filming, so they actually have to stop. It was, they just, it, they just rang the bell for breakover. And then we have to come and just show this place. And just when they saw the guy, it, It's actually big time. That's why they are here. They stopped so much. This is the language lab. Language. Yes. And here, everything about language especially English language is done here. You know, orals, we have speakers here that we listen to our orals. We have Even though it's not time for examination, you guys practice orals in oral in English in this. Yes. Can I see it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, come and look. Because we're not having a class here, for the sake of dust, you know, we do to maintain. It's not enough though, so we do this in batches. This class is not able to contain all the students, so. Because they have super, the, the sitting over here are so, so, so modern. These look so nice. And they have this sound system over here for um, oral English. There are some schools that will have to wait until the time they're about to do their WSSC. Then they will just go and look for some small Bluetooth speaker and then start using it to teach the people. But we, they, they have this thing over here. It's, it's permanent. Second. Please go and buy some for your school. We believe in technology and navigationalism as one of the tools to drive in students acquire knowledge. You know, sometimes we do project whatever we do here, but of course we don't have enough of the projectors. So you also have projectors in the school, we but do. not enough. Yes. If you are an old student of UPSHS, please come and donate a projector to the school. I'll be so glad. Please do it for me. So here too, we hold a program we call Enrichment. And this is aimed at molding students to be all around in every angle. Just recently, we had a survey in campus and the interest of the students to be taken into consideration that we have this enrichment program. The, you said the interest of the school or the students. The students. What does that mean? We come around, what are your skills and interests? Someone talk about fashion, sports, coding, a whole lot. So your school is actually going to listen to the opinion of the student and use it to work? Yes, for the extra co-curricular activities. And this is what we're going to use for the enrichment program. We do have courses here, sometimes from Serena Williams, you know her? Famous um, yeah. tennis player, Louis Vuitton, Paka Walker, a world-class filmmaker. You can check them out, these people are mentioning. We get courses from them. 
they are so expensive but we do our best to get these courses for students for free so you guys are actually living up to the expectations of the name university <laughs> practice some of the courses include videography photography coding the extra core activity yes public speaking skills a whole lot whatever fashion. We practice all of those here in this hmm. school that's why you have the cnn and we are looking forward to upgrading them to something even bigger yes so you're looking at this i don't know which school uh, you're about to write your bec of course and you definitely going to be in a high school this is upshs do you like everything that is happening here <laughs> the ball is in your court and these are dictionaries for reference. So many of them. Yes. And you can see, this, these things here, it's not, it's not only just rubbish. Mm. You can see we have plastic waste. Yes. If you could see, we have a litter free environment. Every plastics are taken to this place. We are taking an, an anti-polluting um, campaign. So, Little free environment, we are trying to gather these rubbers and make them to something for recycling. And this is where we are going to learn how to do these things. Amazing. In this school. Yes. University practice. You can turn these things to something useful by recycling them, you know, for bags. We training these models in the fashion aspect. You can use them for something meaningful. Please, it's not too late. If you are even done with SHS and you're thinking of enrolling in SHS again, just because your school, your school was a mistake, <laughs> please, you can do that. These, these courses, <laughs> let me show you something. Please, show me. Um, here, we have these hard drives. And say, gosh, what these hard drives contain? The courses. Just mention the course you want to, just let us know what you want to learn. You have everything here. <laughs> Terabytes of hard disks, purposely for enrichment. For the extra curricular activities of the students like what what will you learn just tell us what amazing and just you just reminded me you sent me an email somebody sent me an email i'm trying to remember the name you said you have a lot of educational softwares you want to give it to me i don't know what i'll use for but i think it is something that will be beneficial to ghana high school so please um Get in touch and send me those softwares and let me give it to the schools. I'm pretty sure it will help them a lot. Thank you very much. So gosh, and these people we take our inspirations from our world-class recognized people that we take their courses. Sometimes costing like $2,000 and we get these courses here. Amazing. It's not easy to get these courses, but we do our best to get this for... Just for the interest of the students. Students. UPSHS. His Excellence, back in Agri, I saw something similar. This art, you have a similar thing over here. What is this? Yes, yes, yes. Computer. So this is the computer lab. This block is the computer lab. Not that. Hey, this, this is only a mural on the wall to just show what goes on here. These are the um, practical aspects of what we do here for the IT. You know, we are part of the schools that recently adapted elective ICT. Elective? As, yes, two years ago. Elective, elective. ICT where we do um, extensive of computing, coding, and so we do the enrichment program. You do coding program. in this school? We do this enrichment program to help them with whatever they learn in the classroom. You know, we have classes hours and it's, it's structured, but aside that, these enrichment programs come in to be the additives to whatever they learn in classroom. So like home economics and visual arts, you know, this is cooking, molding, something over here. You do ceramics too? Yeah, we do ceramics. We get a department and you know whatever we do there. Let's keep going. Gosh. <laughs> wow. His Excellency, where are you taking me to? Sir Gosh, this is the school's infirmary. Amazing. Once we come here, it's, it's in session. This becomes the student file. You also have a folder for the yes, students. Yes. So you pick your folder, arrange according to surname. So you find your surname, you take your folder. Here you present your national health insurance. Certain um, medications, you know, if if they cover, and this is currently the health perfect. It's not class service, so she chooses to come here and, and work have, as a nurse. Yes, as a student nurse. We have um, this club in the school, the Duke of Edinburgh Award. That's the Duke of Edinburgh. It's a war scheme, but it's domestified in Ghana as the head of state award scheme. Oh, okay. Sometimes these people come here to do their voluntary activity. It's a series of programs you do and you're later on awarded with medals, either bronze, silver or gold. 
So certain people come here to distribute folders as the voluntary activity. You know, this spirit you are inculcating in the students. So that whenever they find themselves out there and they want to help the society, it wouldn't be like a burden on them. Yes, they, they already uh, know how to do certain, every, certain things voluntarily. And here too, the session we have that we say you build your skills and interest. That's why you can use the enrichment. So perchance, maybe she's doing this as a voluntary activity, though she's a health prefect, but as a part of her voluntary activity or skills and interest. Yeah, so that is what you see here. Here we have the, the thermometer gun and the meter to check BPN and other stuff. Students on regular checks. You know. Wow. At GSTS, I found something similar like this. Look, but this one is so beautiful. Look. I don't know how they did this one, but all the students, those, if you ever fall sick, you come here, you get your folder, and then you're good to go. And then they have this thing over here where they measure the height of the student. I don't know what it is used for, actually, but basically for height. And of course, they have their Veronica bucket. Come and look at this. Guys, look at this. They also have a washing machine here for the school. Look. So basically, this is what they use to wash all the bed sheets and the pillowcases and all that. His Excellency, Sir. who brought this thing over here? This, as, as inscribed on it, donated by the 2019-2020 year group, my immediate predecessors. They bought this machine as, for the school. If, after you end your service of all that the school has done for you, you know, you come back as a Yuposa, a legitimate. A Yuposa is what? University Practice Old Student Association. Amazing. And you are an elite, so we call you a legit elite. So once hey. you complete, you are a legit elite. You know, you come back to help the school, but that is 10 years. But before we leave, we can do something. When we build one step, next year, they'll build one step, and we realize we are two steps. Next step, then gradually, we are building. So this is what this 2019, 2020 student did for A this. washing machine. Yes. Amazing. Where do you guys sleep? Where do the sick people, where do they sleep? Let's, let's check it out at this section. So these are the rooms that houses that accommodate the sick people. Over here, they have all their drugs over here. And here is um, a ward for, the, for ladies. And over here is the male ward. Come and see, so nice. Look at the best. Very, very, very neatly dressed like this. They are four over here. Of course, we do not expect students to be falling sick like you come and meet four students ill here at a go. I don't think that's going to happen. They have four over here. And yeah, Oliver Twist is always asking for more. If you're an old student and you can um, donate a few bears to the school too, that would be so amazing. But this is it. This is what they have over here. So nice. And there is a female ward over here. Come and see. Guys, look at what is happening. See, she's checking the temperature of the girl. I don't know, I think so, but you see the workload that are actually supposed to be for the nurse, the, the workload actually has been reduced drastically. These students are so helpful to the nurse over there and it has helped reduce the workload on her. And these girls are really doing a good job over here. What did you just do? I just checked her temperature. Her temperature. Is she yes. okay? Yeah, yes. Her temperature is okay. Yeah. And you were able to read what is there? You understand what is there? Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I think the normal temperature should be 36.6. Yeah. And she has what? Yeah, and it's 36. It's 36. Yes. Amazing. Point two. So if, like, they are, they are being... Um, they are being asked here to relax if their temperatures are we'll go down. high. Oh, yes, okay. Yes. So, as they sleep here, we observe their temperature and we give a feedback to the nurse. Okay. Amazing. What course are you doing over here? I'm a general art student. General art student. I'm also a health prefect. So. Amazing. Okay. Wow. Guys, look at this. Isn't this beautiful and interesting? Guys, I found a school nurse over here. I'm oh, good afternoon. Yeah. My name is Goshes, please. What's your name? I'm Juliana here. Madam Juliana. Yeah. You have a very super structured infirmary over here. Mm -hmm. And I can see that some of the students are here helping you during this break section. How are they how are they really helping or contributing to your work over here? Yeah, in fact. We we are supposed to be two. But currently one is on leave and I'm the only one here. So when they are on break, some already 
have knowledge of what we do here. We have taken them through what we do here, so they know what we do. So when they are on break, they come to assist. Amazing. Yes. So I'd come be at the OPD to check vitals for us. They do entries for us. Yeah. Wow, that's why we have the, the other lady over yes, there doing the, things like that. Yes, they can also check the insurance details. They, feel, they can fill the insurance forms for us. So already they are practicing how to be a nurse over yes. here. Yes, most of them have the interest of doing the work. So they come and then we take them through the basic ones. Wow. Yes. So look, this this is this is so this is so vital. It is so so important because when we are able to detect these girls from the basic like that, and then when they because there are so many people who are practicing the profession but not really out of their heart, but these girls are actually showing interest, and of course they really want to do the work. So I don't know how you do it in your school, like uh, how the head infirmary girl or boy in your school does. But over here, they take time to teach them the very basic of um, being a nurse, entering data and all that. And it is, it is really a good thing. I think it is really a good thing over here. And it's As you can see, the students in front of me is aspiring to be a midwife. Wow. Yes. So from the beginning, we have taken her through the basic requirements she will need to be a midwife. And then she, she knows what vital signs is. She knows the basic things we do here. Checking on vital signs, like the temperature. If the temperature is high, what she has to do, she knows it. She comes here and do our entries for us. In fact, she, she knows how to check the malaria, RGT. Amazing. Yes. She, she knows, she has knowledge on the basic things we do in nursing. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. She's not a nurse yet, she's a student, but she has the very basic knowledge of whatever she wants to become in the future. And I think that is a good way to go. And it's, what they do here actually reflects the name of the school, University Practice Senior High School. If you really want to enroll in a school that will give you actual tangible I mean, really put you to, to the field to work. This is university practice. Look, and over here too, the nurse can actually monitor everything that is happening over here because here they have the, those who are ill over here and she can actually look there and see what is happening if she has to attend there. Quick, 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 amazing, amazing. Guys, I like this place. They would like to see your face and know your name. <laughs> what is happening over here? What's your name? I'm Michelle. Michelle. Yes, I like Mich no, don't. They, they so much like you. <laughs> Guys, this is Michelle. Michelle, what is happening over here? Okay, so basically, if there's a student who is ill, and the person comes here and takes the vitals. So I'm helping. And take the what vitals? Yeah. What is that? So you, you take your name, you check your temperature, your height, and then a BP and then everything. So, so you take that data? Yes, in the folder. So we have a folder for the students who are ill. Amazing. Who are you actually? I'm the um, health prefect. The health prefect. What do you aspire to become? Okay, so in future I want to be a nurse. You want to be a nurse? I'm practicing. And how is this one helping you? Oh, it has helped me a lot because um, I don't think I'll get this opportunity anywhere to be able to know how to feel like um, people's vitals and everything. So this is just like an opportunity for me to know more. Amazing. So real practicals are happening yeah, in this school for you? Yes. Hi, this is university practice. Guys, this girl is so, so happy, excited about the fact that she got the opportunity to enroll herself in this school. Would you recommend people to come here if they yeah, want? Yeah, they should come here. For real? Yes. It's a very good school. They are, they are best, they are the best. Amazing. They, I, they, I love their uniform. It's so, so nice. <laughs> On the ground floor, we have the biology lab, the physics lab, and chemistry lab. And this is the long room. The long room. Yes, we don't have an assembly hall yet. So this is where we do most gardens. We are to be it entertainment and other, other, other functions. Amazing. So this is where we hold them. Yeah. And let's let's go up there and see something for ourselves right there. Is there a way here yes. to the top? Yes. Amazing. Guys, let's go upstairs. 
Stanley, where is this place? Sergosh, this mm -hmm. is our staff common room. This wow. is where the teachers sit to prepare the lesson notes. And also have rest. And amazing. Yeah, this is where the teachers really do it. And this is the ICT lab. You have so many computers over here. So many. Mm -hmm. Or oh, you need more. There, there are 18 functioning here right now. And this is not even up to a standard size of a class. The average class size of EPC is about 40. 40. But really this can contain a class. So, so it means you need you need a lot of computers. Of course. Please, I'm asking you, all students of UPSHS, please come and donate computers to this school. They need so many of them. And you are there, you are doing a lot of great things out there. Come and contribute, come and give back to the school. And the school will be so grateful. Of course, I'll also be grateful if you show up over here. But you have a projector over here. Yes, please. Amazing. So there's a board that we project. Most times when you're having a theoretical aspect of ICT, sometimes teachers are not to go to a class. They have to come here. So as immediately and then they turn to the practical aspect. So we project that we're learning here. You know, as earlier explained, technology, one of the things you are using tools. Yes, so this becomes a service. You have a and huge server over here. Yes. Do you have internet access over here? Of course. Amazing. Almost every part of the campus has Wi-Fi. So when Wi-Fi? Wi -Fi. Yes. In the school? Yes, the government produces some of the Wi-Fi for the school. So most um, students here, doing EICTIS, I told you we adapted EIST two years ago. If you bring your machines around here, you doing your practicals, you get the Wi-Fi support in, enhance your research. In. Amazing. Yeah. So they can actually come here and do research? Of course. Because some of the high schools, they have computers all right, but they don't have internet access. They just do the MS Web stuff and all that. I don't know for sure. But here you have Wi-Fi access over here. And here students we have come this knowledge-oriented teachers who really impart so much. Truth be told, they are very, very open. So, you know, the welcoming atmosphere alone motivates you to learn them more. Amazing. You know, motivation becomes a moving tool for the students. So once just here, have adapted the strategy to teach students. Why would we not learn, you know? See how comfortable they are here. Very comfortable. His yes. Excellencies, <laughs> Stanley. This is your dedicated library, right? Yes, please. Amazing. So here we have these benches to contain the students, you know. Not only for you to come and read, sometimes you have certain things, you want the cool atmosphere, you can come here. And we have adapted a system of arrangement called the Jewy system of arrangement where we arrange the books by topics, um, by subject, sorry. By subject. So with that, you don't go through a lot of a stress to access a particular book of a choice. And, 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 and I have also heard, by the way, the books over here, are they sufficient for you or you still need all students to bring in stuff? We will now ask of Oliver. We will now act like Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist. Asking of more. Asking of more. Please bring in a lot of books. They need it. Bring, if if you can if you don't have books, bring in cash. They go and buy books and come and stock this place, yeah. so that they will they will project the name of your school. And behind are newspapers for references. So back like seven years coming newspapers and. Every week he can come here, aside the news the CNN gives, he can also come here for the newspapers and go through and know what is really going on in this global village. Amazing, in. amazing. And I have heard that your school has a dedicated counseling department. Is that true? Very, very true. No. For real? What, oh, not only for students and even for staff, for teaching and teaching staff as well. The counseling section yeah. unit of the we school. We the psychosocial, you do referrals, yeah, let's, let's go let's go inside to check it for ourselves. It's here. Yes. Guys, look, it's true. Counseling room. I'm Daniel. You're welcome to the unit. Thank you, sir. Sir, I'd like to know, is this department the same as the disciplinary committee? Oh no, 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 that's not it. Um the counseling unit, we are supposed to uh, take students in and assess them based on their unique needs. The disciplinary committee basically sits on disciplinary issues. But some we actually work in tangent with them because sometimes they have to refer issues to us. Then we try to handle them based on the nature of the issue. But whatever they do, they do not always have to come here because they are just looking at disciplinary matters. But ours goes beyond their discipline. Amazing. We counsel students based on their unique needs. It could be emotional, sometimes it's financial, Mostly it is academic. 
then sometimes you know youth and teenagers they have uh, relational uh, stuff that sometimes worries them in their studies and academics so we try to get them up to date and up to speed with whatever they need to be doing whilst they are in their uniform wow yeah mm -hmm. so is this something that you think should be introduced to all the high schools in this country no, every high school is supposed to have um, a counseling unit because it's a supportive... So, so can I say that you actually deal with the psychological state of the student? Exactly, that's what we do. But we also go beyond that. I mean, yeah, because sometimes um, beyond the fact that the person is disturbed psychologically, sometimes it could be something that is also related to something in the house that you can easily branch into. And then it doesn't have to be the student's psychological state but sometimes a state in the house that someone is currently um, disturbed as a result of hearing something. Currently, my client here like this um, is not in a good emotional state Amazing. because she received a news that is not so pleasant. So as you see, she, I'm not going to counsel her based on her academics, but it has to do everything with her emotions. It has nothing to do with psychological thing, but now it's an emotional state that I'm trying to deal with. So Ms. Carida is that. But it's a fact that every secondary school is supposed to have a unit like this oh. to support the academic and administrative structure of the school because things are going on and you really need someone to come in from a different angle to look at what is really happening before we can give a definite interpretation. Yes. Um, GES, Ghana Education Service. This is the first time I'm seeing something like this in a high school. And I think it's so, so, so important. Please. Can we come together and introduce something like this in all the high schools across this country where we have a department that will actually look at the psychological welfare of the school? It is so, so, so going to be beneficial. If you do this, ah, I'll be so much excited. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Guys, I am so much fascinated about this school and everything it represents. There is so much here. The programs that they run over here is just, look, this is their home economics department. He said home economics, not economics. Home economics department. This is the food lab. And then this is the clothing lab. If you go all the way here, that's the visual department. This, this is your full studio, right? Yes, department. Yes. The food lab, yes. The food lab. Yes. What can this lab actually boast of? Okay, so with this department, the home economics, we either do clothing or food. So with food and nutrition, this is where they do their practicals. Mm. Though this place doesn't have much of the um, tools and equipment to aid them, but they've been able to come out as the best in the zone and the best in the region. In terms of what? Food. food. There, were, there was a cooking competition organized by um, a corporate body that we enrolled Upon we entered the competition and we made the winner. And for the national level, it was an inter school competition. Yes. And for the national level, out of about 300 schools, we made the 19th position. Amazing. And you can see that home economic students from University Practice Senior High School are being practically exploited out there. Look, I am inside the clothing studio and it is happening over here. Everything here is practical, 100% practical. And she is sewing. Sis, how far? Cool. How long have you been doing this? Um, one and a half year. One and a half year. Can you see a shirt for me? Oh, yes. A shirt? Yeah. A student, you can see a shirt? Yes. His Excellency, can we go here? Okay, let's do well, you talk. Okay. We are going to learn the number of the number. Okay. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. HSK1, this one is standard course. It's happening here at the UPSHS. Sis, how are you? I'm blessed and highly favored. Amazing. They like to see your face. I'm Joyce Eju. Joyce, you, what language are you learning here? Chinese language. Chinese language. Does yeah. it have a specific name? Yes, please. What's the name? Mandarin. 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 Amazing. Mandarin. Amazing. Why is it so important? Why are you learning it? Um, it gives us a lot of chances to move to Chinese um, countries in order to 
um, continue our education, even if we want to go and have our profession out, we can even go there to, you know, have it there. Amazing. Because I have a few friends who visited there actually and found it so hard balancing things because they couldn't speak the language. But here we are so fortunate that our headmaster gave us the opportunity to learn all these things so awesome. that it will help us and, you know, push us up. Do you think it's something that should be inculcated into the whole education system? Yes, please. For real? Yes. Ghana Education uh, Service should adapt it so that Mandarin will be taught in all the high schools. Yes, please. Amazing. Me, ha, me, ha, me, ha, ma, wa, sha, wa, sha, ha, <laughs> Guys, it's so interesting. The world is actually becoming a global village and everything is connecting together. So it is actually important that, I mean, it, it is always okay to learn extra language. And here in UPSHS, they've made it a priority to learn the Mandarin. And the benefits are great. In time past, students over here have gotten an opportunity. Students over here have gotten an opportunity to, let, to actually travel outside the country to work um, in China, being translators and all that. And that is a good thing. So I don't know which other school learn the Mandarin, the Mandarin, I don't know. But here in UPSHS, if you have any interest in learning the Mandarin, that is the Chinese language, ah, don't hesitate. Guys, look, I'm inside the visual art department. It's a very little studio, but look at what, sir, did you, they did this here, the this workshops. cover? Yes, yes, the visual arts. Students, this is as part of their normal work they've been doing every time. Yeah, that's Guys, look, a sketchbook. They, the cover was done by themselves. Yeah, with different patterns. Look. So what it means is that these guys can actually produce covers for Ghana school books. You see, we having a pro I have a problem with the school books where they have this footballers, the Premier League and all those stuff at the back of the school covers. Why we can have um, the Ankasa and the Adomi Bridge and the, um, there's so many things, all the, all the landmarks of this country at the back of the books. Let's try and give this work to the students. Look at what they've done over here at UPSHS. They did this all by themselves. And it's a very small art studio over here. I'm also calling on you, if you're an old student, please come and donate a lot of things to this school. They are doing amazingly good. Look at this. Your school is great. Yeah. Look, I just spotted something very interesting over there. The girls, they are drawing. They have... Let's go and see what they are doing. What's your name? Kwame Buedo Amwa. Kwame Buedo Amwa? Yes. They like to see your face. Oh. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, we have been giving some. Um, class work to do and it's Cla wait it's, it's, you've been given a class work to do yes and we're doing it outside here yes why yeah that's it some of the class work that you do in class yeah we have to come outside and draw uh -huh. and this topic is based on perspective drawing I have never seen anything like this in any school before is it because your school is university practice so you guys do a lot of practicals here. We put things into practice. Whatever we learn, we put into practice. Amazing. Guys, look, this guy has literally uh, drawn the street over here where I met uh, Stanley. Look, everything is here. And he's not the only one doing it. So many of them, look over there. They are drawing over there. These guys are drawing. Bunch of ladies over here drawing and all that. Ha. In this school, they do ceramics over here. Look at what they've done. They did not buy this one from any art shop. They did it all by themselves, the student over here. Look, this big, huge zebra over here. Oh, cro crocodile. <laughs> it's a crocodile. <laughs> Amazing. My name is Charles Japon Wang, my ninth headmaster, and the first school student as a headmaster of this school. Yeah. Wow. Say, so, um, when I stepped in here at first, I said to myself that the school looks so small. But then Stanley took me around and bit by bit, he exposed so many interesting things about the school that I don't think it is, most of them are actually not in, in the other schools that I've visited. Yeah. And it's so, so amazing. And over here too, you learn Mandarin, the Chinese yeah. language, which is so, so important because the world is really connecting at a very faster 
space. But then the name of the school, UP, University Practice, say what really inspired that name? Well, first of all, let me thank you for the opportunity. Thank and, you, sir. Um, I thank your program, High Schools Africa. Yes, sir. Um, this is the first time we are having that opportunity with any group. And we are very grateful for um, for, 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 for coming. Thank you, sir. For capturing us too. Mostly when they do, they don't remember us. But <laughs> that this time, you have, you have brought us to the limelight. We are grateful. Um, University Practice Senior High School, as the name was, or in is because it was University Practice Secondary School, um, is a product of the University of Cape Coast Faculty of Education and the Ghana Education Service. Wow. It was meant to be the practicing aspect of the University Education Department or Faculty as, as at then. Established 1976, 26 October 1976. Wow. Um, we are told at that time the um, university was fully responsible for its development. But in 1978, government took over completely. So the purpose of the school was to be the practicing unit of the University of Cape Coast. And it's the first day school at, at that time with the boarding school, with the, with the, with the SIS4. It was the first okay. um, day school with the SIS4. So the first started, day school with the SIS4. form. So it started with the SIS4 in addition. So we had students who came for SIS4, lower SIS, as they started with Form 1 in addition, at the same concurrently. So that was what it was meant for. So even the science students at that time um, were doing their practicals at the university. Wow. Yes. So that was how the relationship was. Until when the school began to grow in population, so it was necessary that we established um, our own lab centers so that we could have our own practicals on campus. Even just when we were having a conversation, we met some of the students who were actually doing sewing. Some of the uh, art students were actually outside there doing perspective drawing and all that. Um, people are, they've seen everything about the school and now they are thinking to themselves. So what is one thing that you say to let those who are about to write their BEC to choose university practice as a school to attend? You know, as you went, you see this, this picture, this is the photograph. Yes, sir. But uh, this is the drawing by a form two student. In the school? In the school. So he just looked at this one and drew it and showed it to me. I have another one, um, an old student's picture here, which he just showed, brought the, the, the picture on a, fo on a phone, and they have just drawn it. And, and, and it's so beautiful. If like I can show you. So, let's see. A form two student. Form two. Form two. A form to visual art student did this. So this is how far our student can go in producing something with their own hands. We believe in the practicality of what you have. It's for this reason that we have also brought in the Chinese language um, center, as you were talking about. Um, we are the first. We are the first secondary school or senior high school to go into the. Um, the learning of the Chinese language, right? So um, just recently we had a program, and about eight of our students were honoured for um, um, uh, doing so well in the Chinese language. It started about five years ago. Wow! And uh, we are anticipating that as they go along, they we will have um, people after SS going to. Um, China to further their studies. Amazing. Yes, because we, apart from what is there, we are establishing a complete Chinese language learning center where it will be stationary wow. for their classes. So the student will move there for studies and everything. Wow. So the, the, because there is this constant saying out there that um, most of the schools are producing people who cannot really apply anything that they learn in the school when they come to the real world. But here at UPSHS, you are actually harnessing the talent, out, bringing the talent out of the, of the student to become useful to the society, even um, when they complete SHS and they choose not to do, to further the education, the education you, again. You know, that is what our name stands for. University practice senior wow. high school, right? We are here to help people to get the best out of the system and from themselves for themselves. You understand? 
we stand for excellence and our uh, that's our, our our vision that we stand for excellence and in pursuing this vision um our, our mission has been discipline hard work and we believe that with that discipline and hard work there's no way you can achieve anything so whether you want to sew you want to cook you want to draw you want to run you want to learn whatever it be science or be it the the arts or whatever it is everything is everything is about here. discipline hard work and that is why we are here to instill in the students for them to know without this discipline now there is no way you can achieve anything amazing yes there is no way so that is what we instill in them we want to connect their old student back to the school so that they can have a sense of giving it back to the school is there anything specific you ask them to come and give it back to the school asking this i want to thank you and i want to thank take the opportunity to thank some of them who have done so much for the school for example, the laboratories at the back there is renovated by the 2011-year group. Wow. Just last Saturday, a group also brought me not at least 100 um, uh, plastic chairs. Wow. Uh, that was the 1996-year uh, group that brought me 100 plastic chairs. The 1999-year group brought me sets of jerseys and spikes and football boots wow. where they are at the back here. The nineteen ninety eight year group, they did that for me. Wow. The girls' geometry got dilapidated. It is being renovated by the 2000 year group, right? And I wow. remember the head boy for 19, uh, 2020, 2017 also presented 30 of those chairs. Over the years, it has also been some individual old students like Mr. Usu, mm -hmm. Um, Prof. Eric Nyako Samson, Professor Okole, they have been on board helping us. They are also all students of this yes, school? Yes, yes. Wow. Pro, uh, Mr. Usu is the internal auditor for the University of Cape Coast. Prof. Okole is also a professor who is the incoming board chairman. And Prof. Nyako Samson is the, um, the vice chancellor of the university, um, which is of energy, renewable energy at um, Somenia. Wow. These people have been a pillar in the, in the school, in the, in the connection with supporting the school. But increasingly, more old students are coming on board year group basis, and I know more are coming. Mm -hmm. I know one year group came this morning wanting to buy computers for the school and then um, air conditioners. So so they are welcome. We need a lot of renovations to be done at the long room, the assembly hall, um, a lot of issues that we can solve when they come around. Wow. So I'm inviting them to come on board so that we can make our school better than we came to meet. Sure. Keep still everywhere. Gosh, keep still. They are bringing the flag down. Guys, look. Now everybody has stopped working because they are lowering their flag down. School has ended and they are bringing down their flag and everybody has to stop. They've all stopped. UPSHS. Oh, the flag is down. It was an order. It's just something that goes on over here. And nobody moves until the flag comes down. Amazing. What a school. What a school. That is it. It means it is done. So they should start moving now. Look, everyone is going. They are moving. Hi. So guys, this is my time here at the University Practice Senior High School. Great school. Really, really great school. So much we didn't know about this school. But now we know how awesome this school is. If you are a BECE candidate coming up and you're thinking of which school to enroll yourself, you now know the potential of this school and you might consider coming to this school. And also there are about 721 high schools in this country that all of them need equal opportunity to showcase what they have. So I am actually looking forward to GES and getting in touch so that we can promote these schools extensively because they all deserve that kind of opportunity. And I'm also ready to visit my next, my first African country, probably it's going to be Nigeria. Yes. And I don't know where you're watching me from. Please let me know in the comment box. If you can connect me to schools over there, I will be so ready to visit this, your schools and um, showcase them as well. Of course, if you do like what is happening here, kindly give me an endorsement by hitting the subscribe button. I'll be so, so, so much grateful. Until then, I'm going to see you again very soon. And bye.
azules.